I move on with the rest of the video, I wanted to thank Living Proof for sponsoring this. I have a full drawer of Living Proof. All of these products are Living Proof. You can even watch my old vlogs. I've used them organically, so I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I have some second day hair over here. I actually did them in braids this morning. So I'm going to be going in with the Living Proof Full Texturizing Foam. And this pump is just so great, whether you have curly hair, straight hair, honestly anything. If you scrunch it in, it's so good for second day. And I remember when I was in school that I just could not bother like styling my hair all the time, but this makes it really, really easy. You can already tell it looks so much fuller and my bangs look like they're more in place. This is how I'm going to be styling it for my next couple of looks, but just doing like an easy pump of the texturizing foam can revive my hair and I scrunch it side to side. A tip is to flip your head upside down. So even if I just like flip my hair, and run it through i can revive the texture so whether you're air drying it or just trying to revive some second day hair this gives it three times the texture or versus if you were just to leave it alone you can use it with heated stylus because it offers heat protection up to 450 degrees fahrenheit which is also 232 degrees celsius there's no silicone there's no sulfates there are no parabens. It's color safe. I actually recently dyed my hair, which is why it's helpful as well. <laughs> I could go on and on. Overall, there is an all day hold and style longevity. So it just will keep my waves for a minute. Yeah, this is an example of one of the hairstyles. And I'll also be washing my hair to show you how you can elevate your outfits with all these kinds of hairstyles. <laughs> For this outfit, I wanted to go for something that was very preppy but cute, so I did three looks that are kind of in the same style. The first outfit has a bralette from Shushu Tong along with a little skirt. An alternative would be the outfit on the right, which is a set from Motel Rocks. They also sell this on Urban Outfitters, I believe, and then I tied it in with my clip from MEJ. The middle outfit is a very simple jean dainty top look. Um, I got these shorts from Madewell. You can also thrift them and find any sort of jeans and cut them. I would describe these three looks as a very preppy, shushu tong, miu miu aesthetic that I like. I love bows, I love lace, I love satin, and it incorporates all three of these things. So for these next three outfits, I think these looks were my favorite because they all had the same vibe. The outfit in the middle was my favorite because I feel like you can wear it on a date night or just like a casual brunch. And it's very comfy but laid back, but also the vintage Chanel is really tied together and make it look really elevated. And the outfit on the right is very school appropriate in my opinion because you can wear a little baby tee and like a midi length skirt and they're also at a price point that is more accessible for whatever stage of school you're at or just in general for back to school season. The claw clip on the left is from MEJ. The tank is tank air and this look is just really simple because I find it really hard to find a skirt that's long enough but also fun. This one kind of bubbles at the end which I love so I paired it with these knee high boots. Perfect for walking around and shopping and yeah you can wear any of these looks to a casual day out in New York or just to class or like a cute girls dinner. The options are endless. So for these next few outfits, I wanted to go for a night out look. We'll start with the one on the right. It reminds me of when I was in college and it's just because it's so comfortable. I paired it with some tennis shoes that I got off Depop. The outfit on the left is definitely fancier, but the dress is vintage from Moody Goose. I got it in San Francisco and the shoes are also vintage from Crossroads. The middle one is my favorite because it's very me and the top is from Tank Air while the pants are from Vehant Studio, but I like the lace and like the sheer see-throughness it, it's definitely more mature because i paired it with kitten heels but i just love wearing my hair down on a night out it makes me feel a lot more confident my little trick is to put some texturizing foam before you do it and after because there's heat protectant which is such a life hack so it's kind of like guaranteeing the hold when you put in the foam 
So this is what my hair looks like without any foam. If you guys are interested in checking out the Living Proof Full Texturizing Foam and just any of their products in general, their stuff is really good. You can't find something that's at this price, in my opinion, for the quality. You guys can click the link in my description box and all the details will be in the description on the first line. So let's continue on with the video. So for these next set of outfits, I wanted to go a very mature kind of Danish vibe. If you've seen like Copenhagen style, this is what it reminds me of, especially the outfit on the left and the outfit on the right. I wore all these looks with kitten heels. So one of them is very casual with a black off the shoulder top from Revolve. The outfit on the right, the top is from Motel and the skirt is from Revolve. And I love mixing these muted colors together. And then the one in the middle is more of like a brunch vibe, but also very dainty. And the shoes are from Reformation along with the pants. So I loved that together with the vintage top from Moody Goose. I feel like these looks are kind of self-explanatory because the tops are like statement pieces, but these outfits are very safe if you want to not go too bold, but just kind of keep it classy with a little statement bag or a statement top. For the very last set of outfits, this kind of is perfect for if you're walking out in the day. I paired all three with these tennis shoes that I wear a lot and it's very comfy. The middle one is my favorite because I paired it with knee-high socks, but it's just a very sporty yet dainty look. I kind of wanted to give Sani Liang in the very right because of the colorways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook and got to learn a few things and some of my tips and tricks. Thank you guys for watching.